Welcome back everybody. Alright, so I've shown you how to go ahead and use uh, the style points within CSS here. What we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to go do something similar in JavaScript. Now I know what you're thinking, you're probably thinking that uh, JavaScript, uh, this is an HTML5 course, it's not a JavaScript course, but what ends up happening is that in HTML5 a lot of these languages tend to mix together. And it's best that you know a little bit of JavaScript anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna delete the CSS and you can see that once we delete everything uh, it ends up being nothing because of course uh, we don't we haven't told this to do anything the one thing we need to do is we need to give this canvas an ID so I'm just gonna type in ID I'm gonna go equals and then two quotes and I'll just put a space I'll close the CSS here just so that we can see it a little bit better and what we'll do is uh, we'll go to ID and we'll go to a canvas just like this and what this means is that this canvas tag is gonna have an ID named name canvas and I know it's a little bit of review but this ID here is a reference that uh, you can go and reference in other parts of the code here so what we'll do is we'll pull up the JavaScript here and what we need to do is we need to pull up first of all we need to put this in a variable now in order to declare variables you just need to type in var and what we're gonna call this we're gonna call this a canvas it's pretty simple we're gonna go to equals and I should also point out at this point that in JavaScript unlike most other languages you can make variables into uh, different kinds of well simply variables you can make them in different you can make them number variables you can make them um, uh, character variables and you can pass in a whole bunch of um, you pull a whole bunch of information to a variable. So a variable isn't a specific type until you what we call initialize it. So what we need to do is we need to actually go and get this ID and it's actually very simple. All you need to do is you need to type in document dot get element element by ID and the capitalization is, is very important at this point. And then what we need to do is we need to type in um, two brackets and a semicolon and then here two quotes. And in here, we need to just type in, we need to find out which ID we're getting, and we're going to get this one right here. So what we need to do here is you can see here that we have a variable named a canvas, which we are going to reference um, this canvas here. So this a canvas forever in this JavaScript here, uh, anything that we do to this will be only uh, affecting this one right here not this one right here okay so what we need to do is we need to go to um, we need to add another variable here so we're gonna just type in this var and I'm gonna go ahead and close the HTML because we don't need it anymore and we're gonna just type this in as context okay and what we need to do is you need to go to a canvas dot get context to brackets two quotes and we're just gonna type in 2d here because as essentially that's the way get context works you can you can actually add in these two quotes if you really want to but uh, let's just go ahead and add in the big ones uh, for now so the next thing we need to do is let's go ahead and let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to the next line here and we need to type in context dot fill style and make sure style is capitalized we're gonna go to equals and then we're gonna go two quotes and then we'll go ahead and push this here. Now watch what happens when you type in red. Now we haven't done anything because we have to actually go ahead and fill this uh, rectangle which is going to be the next line. So we're going to go ahead to context and we're going to go to fill rect and then we're going to, this passes in four different variables so I'm going to go to 10, 10, 100, and 100 and as you can see a red little box pull, pulls up right there and there we go. Okay so that's essentially uh, what what happens is is that when you can go ahead and add this and fill this canvas within JavaScript now you're probably thinking well this is really silly we've already learned how to do this however there are way more cooler things you can do with this alright and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial